the real problem has been the sexual revolution, which which has led to the collapse mm. of so many American families. Yeah. And so we can treat the symptoms, but until we treat the disease, the symptoms are going to stay with us. Mm. You've sort of led us into the next point, which is the sexual revolution. What role does that play in theological liberalism? Oh, wow. Well, um, so my friend Renee Sproles, you know Renee too, by yes. the way. Um, in her book on gender, Renee says, uh, she uses this phrase, I like this phrase, she says, sex in America is both everything and nothing. Mm. It's nothing in America and that you should be able to do pretty much anything you want to do. That it, it, In America, it, it appears that there are very few um, sexual agenda rules left. It's everything in that, uh, as a, as for a lot of North Americans, it's sort of a bellwether. It's a measurement of where you actually stand in life. And if you don't accept what the left is pushing on us, then um, you, you need to be marginalized. You need to be um, uh, censored. Uh, actually, Renew, I'm a board member of Renew. We're being censored now on uh, some social media. We're, it's really shocking. You may have had this happen to you. It's really shocking when you realize you actually are being censored now. Yeah. And it's because of our positions on um, sex and gender, and even maybe even harassed at the end of the day. So uh, gender and sex appear to be very big things for North Americans, certainly since the sexual revolution of the 1960s. And so in that pursuit for authenticity or um, becoming uh, actualized as who you really want to be or who you really think you should be. Sex is a huge deal. And so progressives have to rewrite mm. what historic Christianity and scripture say about sexuality. Yeah. And uh, I just want to say this, uh, it is, I think it is, it's the real disease behind so many of the social symptoms that we see in North America. So many of the symptoms we see of decay, decline, everything from mental health, to, uh, incarceration rates, to uh, uh, gangs, drug use, and all this. for so many of those symptoms, the real problem has been the sexual revolution, which which has led to the collapse mm. of so many American families. Yeah. And so we can treat the symptoms, but until we treat the disease, the symptoms are gonna stay with us. Mm.